Rule number three, you can't get rich slow. When I owned 100 houses, I made about $10,000 a month of tax-free income, 100 grand a year. I thought I was rich. Why do I think I was rich? Because my dad never made $100,000 a year. Number two, 10,000 tax-free income a month or 120 a grand a year tax-free is equal to 140 in real earned dollars, earned income dollars. But in reality, it seemed like a lot to me because I made 70,000 a year in corporate America working in the health club industry. So what that meant was I took home $3,500 a month. So now that I'm taking home $3,500 a month, now I'm taking home 10,000 a month. That's like three times as much. I mean, to me, I've really made it. But if you looked at my bank account, I maybe had fifty or hundred thousand dollars of liquidity. I wasn't rich, but I bought one apartment complex and turned all kinds of things around in it in a very short period of time, and made over a million dollars of tax-free income by refinancing the money back out of the deal. So I walked away with a check for a million dollars. Now, when I had that check and I put that check in my savings account, my world changed because then I was rich. Does that make sense? Still had the same amount of real estate, still had the same cash flow, but I was rich because of the gigantic instant wealth. Everybody tells you your whole life you can't get rich quick. That is BS. The real answer is you can't get rich slow. Anybody ever read the book, The Millionaire Next Door? Nope, it's an old book. What it talks about, it talks about most people to get rich end up being a millionaire, end up doing it by buying a large home, paying it off over 30 years, saving in their 401k, saving in their IRA, and then hit retirement with a million bucks of net value. Then the book goes on and says these people are miserable. Their entire life is miserable, and when they retire, they go to dinner at 4 o'clock so they can get the senior's discount. They buy everything with coupons. Once you learn to live on the expense side of the income statement, you will be stuck on the expense side of the income statement your entire life. You've got to learn how to create income. You've got to work on the other side of the equation and start making more money, not learning to live on less. Otherwise, you're going to end up living poor for the rest of your life.